Mortuary, at least January 13th, 2006. Um, made by Echo Bridge Entertainment, starring Dan Byro and Alexandra Addy. Produced by Andrew Cohen, written by Jace Anderson and Adam Garst. Garcy, uh, and directed by the legendary Toby Hooper. And if you don't know who that is, he's the one who did the Texas, original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Salem's Lot, and then he went more into like B movie territory, like Toolbox Murders and stuff. So, yeah, has a good, strong director who knows horror pretty well, and there's a legend behind it. So, let's dive into this. Well, Mortuary is basically this family, uh, this mother of two loses her husband and she's like a mortician so she uh moves to this small town looks like it's in like colorado or something um to be the new mortuary person for the mortuary general home so they move to this house and it has a graveyard in the backyard and everything so basically for the first half of the film the kids are trying to get situated into this new town, being the new kid and stuff. So the son goes to a diner and he gets and meets like the punk kids and gets a little rough with them, gets a job at the diner, meets the diner owner's daughter and becomes good friends with her and her friend. And they basically tell the story of um this like ghost story that happened at the house. And uh yeah, so and then later on in the film the punk kids break into a tomb and unleash this like spiritual curse thing and uh yeah become like engulfed in this evil and uh which sort of makes them like zombie-ish and uh yeah so they go to the diner and it turns out they start like puking like black ink stuff everywhere and uh basically um the kids find out so and it spreads to the mortuary area and the dead come back to life, basically, and try wreak havoc on the family, and it's up to them to try to stop it. And, of course, the mother gets, like, mentally controlled. I might spoil some of this, by the way. And, uh, yeah, basically, it's the kids trying to survive an undead t attack through stuff that was living under the mortuary. And that, so it's, like, a ghost story mixed with the zombie sto film, but... Overall, it was okay. It was, uh, the acting's mediocre. Um, and the ending is just super annoying. But, uh, yeah. So, the problem I had with this film is it was so slow for the first half. It took a while to build up. And it was only like an hour and 20 minutes. So, once, uh, it builds up and you see, like, the evil spreading through the house and stuff, it's very cheesy. <laughs> it's like black vines and stuff and then the mother gets annoying and like tries to be menacing but it's just annoying and uh the kids uh have to smart these like zombies but it's so cliche and cheesy and um don't know if that's ultra low budget and at least uh when you at the end when you think they get away she comes out and steals the little girl and pulls her back in the house and goes to the credits so it has that uh, disturbing little twist at the end but overall it wasn't that well done like I saw this when it first came out and I thought it was awesome but I was also only like I don't know 13 or something <laughs> and uh yeah so overall I thought it was pretty weak I thought the writing was pretty weak and dialogue was cheesy and corny um yeah but for that dollar I got it out of a I got it out of one of those like ten pack horror films that wasn't a big deal, but overall I thought it was just cheesy. Um it's this is more of like a movie where you turn your brain off and sit there and just like let it go by if you want. I do like a Netflix or chill or something, that's something you put on in the background. And it's it's almost like a goose extra long goosebumps episode almost. Like that type of cheesy like it looked like it was from like the 90s, not the early 2000s. So, overall, wasn't the greatest. Probably one of two B. Hooper's lesser good films, I'm going to say. Uh, so far, of all the ones I've seen, anyways. So, yeah, with that, 
I'm going to give Mortuary a 2 out of 5. It's not the greatest, but it is watchable for the most part. Had a good concept. It was just really poorly executed. And uh, I think that's more with like the money constraints and stuff. But yeah, overall, not that great. There's a trailer's link down below if you want to check it out. Instagram's always linked down below too, where I post clips of films on my story. So make sure you follow me there. Comment down below if you've seen this. Let me know what you thought. Like, subscribe, share this if you want. Um, yeah, and comment down below other low-budget horror films or any films in general that you want to hear my opinions on. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And, yeah, hopefully the dead don't rise anytime soon.